morning. I found some overpriced Turkish coffee in a souvenir shop, so I'm stoked to start the day with a coffee today. It's cloudy again, hooray! But I don't actually know the forecast for today because I'm having difficulty finding somebody to help me charge the data on my modem. Apparently the guest house and uh, the local supermarket didn't understand my requests in presumably perfect Farsi. Fourth time lucky, this can't fail. Charge lot then. Data. Internet. 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 Merci. Yay, sorted. There are two roads down the valley from Passagard to Persepolis, so I'm able to take this quieter, beautiful one. restaurant in town that isn't an ice cream shop and I'm eating the one thing on offer which luckily is chicken with barbary one of my absolute favorites yum wow this is even better juji chicken than usual I think it's extra saffrony extra salty and the barbary is brilliant wow. it's just everything but the raw onion which I had some of that's a lot of raw onion even by Iranian standards Just before Persepolis are the ruins of Naqsh-e Rustam. Here you can see the rock-hewn tombs of Darius 1 and 2 and Ataxasis and Circus. Does this count? It's the first live camels I've seen in Iran. Wow! I've ridden from reindeer to camels. It doesn't look very happy about it. It's loading. Atina. Atina is coming. How is the one, two, three, four, five? This is the tourist village that services Persepolis. Looks like a pretty sad place so far. We find a friendly guest house. What a beautiful guest house. It's so clean and new. I <laughs> have showered extra hard to not get it dirty. Look at this fresh sangak. Massive. Mohammed from the hostel went to go and get it for me and I'm ashamed to be having it with canned eggplant. 